Silverstone has a new paddock complex and staff finished straight next to Club Corner this year at the bottom part of the circuit. The hard tyre and the soft tyre are the two nominations from Pirelli here. The first part of the circuit is very fast with several rapid direction changes giving most of the work to the front tyres. Turn 3 though is slow, relying mainly on mechanical rather than aerodynamic grip. The rear tyres need to find perfect adhesion with the track surface in order to provide optimal traction. The turn in 2 is absolutely vital in order to give the driver the most precise feeling possible which is had with the soft tyres in particular. The best grip on Luffield corner is found right by the apex. The drivers then move gradually to the outside of the corner in order to build up speed and lay down all the power on what used to be the old start finish straight. Cops. This corner is well known for having a bump right in the middle of the line, which is absorbed by the shoulders of the tyre so that the car does not move about too much and the optimal contact patch is maintained. Beckett's. This is a sequence of corners that's extremely demanding, with an average speed in excess of 200 kph. The aerodynamic vertical loading, along with the longitudinal force of 4G, steadily heats the tyre up, which reaches a temperature of 120 degrees on the exit. After Vale Corner, there's another sharp change in direction from left to right, and then we're in Club Corner. It's important to hug the apex before opening up all the power again and finding ourselves at the start-finish line once more.